flavours to celebrate. Mmm. Hellman's sponsors this morning food. Now it's Lovely. time for cookery. Nisha Catone is in the kitchen making a coronation chicken curry. We're very excited. But what does where does this coronation chicken come from? Who came up with the idea? Well, there's a story there. So it was, in fact, a dish that was dreamt of by the Cordon Bleu School of Cooking. Cordon Bleu. For the Queen's coronation, for our Queen. Yeah. Elizabeth II's coronation in 1953, this was what was served at the lunch. Oh, wow. It's an incredibly progressive dish for 53, right? Isn't yeah. it? And, you know, and, and that's very fascinating, you know, the way that the, the Brits have embraced curry. And the reason that it was served on that day is because she had a, a guest hall full of foreign dignitaries. Right. So we... so th And they, you know, demand a lot of flavour. So because it was this, you know, huge mass of people that wanted big flavour, coronation chicken was on the menu for them. Not for her, interestingly ah, enough. interesting. So it is interesting, cos... I wonder what she had. Well, I wonder if it was a quiche. Well, we know it. Best, quiche. isn't it? Well, we, know, <laughs> we know it as a dish that you, you kind of eat quite... Quite often you eat it cold, don't you, as a yeah. coronation chicken? It's like coronation yeah, chicken Yeah, yeah, you put them in the yeah. sandwiches. Exactly. And yeah, I know. And that's what's so great. So, so in this recipe, this is a really good mass catering recipe, honestly. And what's great about this curry, as with many curries, is that it's great cold. So Ooh. original coronation chicken was with mayonnaise and apricot jam. So, of course, we're not doing it with mayonnaise. This is onion, ginger and garlic, the base of any kind of chicken curry, mm -hmm. OK? Into that, and I never use this because it's a swear word in the Indian kitchen, curry powder. What? Because that's what the Brits like to add to curry. So, curry powder, good sort of two teaspoons of curry powder to give it that belt. Why do you never use it? Because it's got... It's adulterated with things like ginger powder, Onion powder, uh, allspice, things that aren't really from the Indian kitchen. So okay. we use garam masala instead. A yeah. little bit of turmeric, because what you want and what Cordon Bleu was tasked with doing was creating a rose-hued curry so as to not scare the horses. Right. Heaven forbid it would be brown. <laughs> so this rose-hued, delicate curry. So that's it with the spices. Curry powder. Um, the, a little bit of chilli, just for a little bit of heat. You don't Still a nice bit of heat to it, though. Yeah, I put a little... Can I tell you? Put a bit extra in, cos I thought you might want that. Yeah, you don't, but I'm not into hot curries. Can I tell you about this spice? This is fenugreek, and very often I use it, but the reason it's great for this coronation chicken curry is cos it's a pickling spice. Oh. So if you were going to make any chutneys or pickles, you would use fenugreek, either seeds or powder or leaves. I've never heard of that. Mm. What's it yeah. called again? Fenugreek. 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 So I... Fenugreek or methy. Have you ever heard of methy? No. Yes. Methy. Not like breaking bad meth. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> no. No, we're, we're not I using that. <laughs> no. <laughs> so it's fenugreek powder. But instantly you get that kind of haunting scent yeah. and it's really aromatic. And what's great is that when this is then cold, that scent just keeps coming out. Curries are always best on day two or three anyway. Yeah. yeah. So here we go. All our spices are in. So can you, Alison, can you smell that now is beginning... Yeah, hold yeah. on. Let's Waft it over here. Now that fenugreek's gone in. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's lovely. You'd wear that, wouldn't you? Oh, I would. All over me. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> OK, so that... Well, you, you've pretty much made that, right? That's it next to do. <laughs> it's, <so laughs> it's good. It's so good. It really is tasty. Good, I'm glad. So we're now creating the sauce for this coronation chicken curry, OK? It's... Cos we want that rose hue, we're going to add a bit of tomato puree. Tomato puree is a good way of bringing a bit of tang and sweetness. This is quite a sweet curry. Mm -hmm. Because if you go back to Mrs. Beaton's books, she was all about the mango chutney. Yeah. She was all about the raisins and the apricots and all of these things that we really don't do in India. And it was a way, really, to make these dishes palatable. So rather than the gruffness of, of a curry mm. from, you know, the, the colonial days, they would add fruit to their curries to make it something that wasn't so ah. uh, aggressive in that way. They were basically watering it down, I guess. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. And what they say about coronation chicken and coronation chicken curry is that it should have all the grandeur of the rubies and peacocks of Indian life, and that's why we always use pomegranates and we use spring onions to garnish it yeah. without any of the bold flavour. Right. So it's always this kind of tame lion of a dish, you know, which is a shame, but it's really lo it's it lovely. Tastes it tastes nice, not it's bland. It's perfect. I yeah. love it. It is. It's, yeah, it's not bland and it is very... <laughs> I mean, this is the thing, isn't it? And with Coronation Day, you want to be able to feed... You want to be all things to all people, sure. don't you? So you don't want it hot. So here we go. We're just watering this down with a bit of water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then we want to blend this. 
So once you blend this... What, are you going to put it in the blender? You put, you can stick blend it. You don't have to blend it, but it gives it that lovely velvet luxury. Okay. And the weird thing is, once you blend it, it goes to your rose-hued colour. Wow, look Isn't that, that mad? Yeah. That's because the onions and the ginger and the garlic are all macerated. Their membranes, which are white, are all macerated and you've got that lovely colour. Right, to this, we need to add that iconic coronation ingredient, which is apricot jam, apricot jam. and a good bit of apricot jam. So you want to be tasting this. You want to be tasting it for salt and sweet. Mm -hmm. So both of those things need to be right there at the front So when of do we tongue. have the chicken then? At what point do we have the right. chicken? What we're going to do, good point, is the point at which that jam has dissolved. You add the chicken and you poach it through. Yeah. You wouldn't brown that at all, no. OK. You wouldn't brown that at all. You me? wouldn't brown it. You don't need to brown it. Do you know, so, so the original coronation chicken was boiled chicken, <laughs> chopped up. So it's great for leftover chicken dishes. That's so so good. So you make this sauce. And just bang and, the leftover yeah, chicken Yeah, roast in. chicken, you bang that in. OK, so we've got our chicken in. And then we add Delicious, isn't it? a good dollop of creme fraiche and it's pretty much ready to go then. So once that's cooked, you add the creme fraiche. This doesn't look very appetising, but you end up with, with this. this. which does look... Now, the reason I served dollars. peas with your rice is because the Queen, on her coronation day, had peas in her oh, rice. Did she? I love all that. I like a bit of peas and rice. Oh. Yeah, yeah, do you know, Indians would always have peas and rice, but oh, really? it's just frozen peas thrown in. And your coriander your as well. Oh. Yeah, coriander's fantastic. Some people don't. It's what a lovely dish. Really nice. It's really lovely. It's Good. delicious. Pomegranates for a bit of crunch, but those spring onions, again, not an Indian thing, but a very British thing. But Nisha, Done. you've made it delicious. I'm glad. It's amazing. As I'm always. Really but all the details of today's recipe, more delicious ideas from this morning app. Just head to the free this morning app.